Okay, welcome back to my, to my channel. Today we'll be making sugar cookies, but we're gonna do a twist on them. We're making peppermint sugar cookies. My world famous. I got my brother Trevon in here with me and my sister. Hello, Rihanna and the bank, I mean Josh. Everybody, how you guys doing? Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Are you gonna say something? You're gonna say this again? I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Cup of salted butter. Okay, so I'm gonna measure this out. This is half a cup already in here. Two cups of these equals one cup. That's half. That's another half. We'll go a little more. A little bit more. And that's one cup. I already got my butter measured out. I'm gonna butter that. This is one cup of butter. One cup of sugar. One cup of butter. I'll make it easy on you. Don't get too close now. Okay. How about that? Blend it together and it's smooth. Okay, see this? Make it a mess. Let's go see what Brianna's doing over there. What are you doing? I was sifting the flour for the cookies. The what? For the cookies, I was sifting the flour. Oh. Let's see what you're doing. What are you doing? Chopping up peppermint. Huh? <laughs> Chopping up peppermint. For the cookies. Okay, so you have to. Over here, okay. So you have to mix this for two minutes, it says. So we're gonna mix this up for two minutes. Yeah, here with some peppermint. Okay, so the bread almost done sifting that flour over there. Yeah, I'm almost done. That'll take time. About halfway done. How you take pipe one with some peppermint over there? Okay, so now it says to add the vanilla and the eggs. You need three eggs, so we're gonna start adding these eggs. Come on, man. One at a time. That's one. Let's add the vanilla too while we add I just, I transferred the stuff I already sipped it back to the white bowl and I'm sipping it again. Mm -hmm. You need how much of vanilla? We need two tablespoons, I mean two teaspoons of vanilla. What do I do with the teaspoon? <laughs> Show how it's going on with them peppermint over there. I'm gonna put these two teaspoons of vanilla extract in here real quick. But we're gonna do a twist, like I said, since these are peppermint sugar cookies. We're gonna add one tablespoon of peppermint extract. We're gonna do a little twist on it. Let's get this two peppermint extract. This pure peppermint extract right here. I'm gonna put it up in there. Can you show it to us? I'm gonna show this peppermint extract. Okay. You can do a tablespoon or half a tablespoon, wherever you feel comfortable with. Okay, we got all that in. Now we're about to mix it up. One egg, one egg at a time. Okay, first egg mix, add the second egg. Don't add, don't add them all at once. If something go wrong, we'll do it like that. Second egg, I'm gonna mix these up. Last egg. Okay, Bree, how come on 
the sifting. Yeah, this one should look like the sweet the sifting the flour. It's, you should make sure there's no clumps in the flour. Oh, the last and final egg goes in. Hey Brownie, come on, you can come on with that flower now. Good morning, Yep, Lily Tom. Lily Tom, okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Wish I had a slower mode because it's going to be Okay, let me know. Brownie, let's try to get it in the bowl. A little bit more. Hold it in the bowl, Bree. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Go and poke some more. Okay, I'll stir this up. It's okay if you make a mess. Uh, if you don't make a mess. Not a chef. Yeah, you're not a chef. Come on, before we come on. For the rest. You see that dough forming? That's what you want. That's what you want. How's it going along over here? I'm going to stir it up some of the dough because this flour is getting everywhere. And that's how I clean up this mess afterwards. You can smell that peppermint. What are you going to say, Bree? And always when you're cooking, always clean up the dishes you might make because it just helps the process along easier. That way you get done cooking. Oh, it's right all that. Okay, so this is Up some more. Okay, that's okay, so make sure you heat your oven to 350. They have to spray the pan with baking spray or non stick spray. I'm gonna spray with some pan. Okay, we got that done. Now we're going to move over here to this station. Okay, so after you grease your baking sheet, we're going to put balls and you roll it inside the sugar. Roll it on the sugar. See ya. Got a spoonful of the dough. And roll it in the sugar. And so, and you put on the baking sheet like that. Then you keep going over and over. It's very repetitive. Put it in your hand, put it on. It's only a little messy, but it is what it is. Good time now. Okay, so final step before you put it in the oven at 350 degrees for 10 minutes, you want to put the topping on it. Better than frosting, some people might say. You can always mix the colors up. You can do green and red to make it more Christmassy. I prefer to have other colored candy canes, but you can do green and red too. Whatever suits you. Oh, and um, I forgot to tell you, Shane and Godfrey, that's all this bingo game. It's called Roadside Bingo. So whenever you or your family need something to do on a ro long road trip, you can go and always go to Dollar Tree and pick that up. You just, the game works by, if you see the sign, you put down, whoever gets bingo first wins. Okay, so about to put these in the oven for 350 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. Let's hope these turn out right. So the cookies are finally done. These how they look. We're gonna do some taste testing here. So y'all say, y'all don't believe my word? Let's see how he handles it. Okay, Brown, you first. How it tastes? Tastes pretty good. You get that, that peppermint taste to it. 
Yeah, I definitely taste the pepper, man. They good? Yeah, that's good. See, they didn't rise a lot because I did it my way. I didn't do it the way the people say online. Sometimes that way be wrong. You gotta try to do it yourself and experiment. So, yeah. Okay, so today.